Welcome back. A TikTok challenge is getting out of control and making its way into the hands of millions of students, including some right here in Metro Atlanta. CBS 46's Tori Cooper shows us how it's causing issues inside and outside of the classroom. Yeah, it's been happening in schools across the country, and now it's happening right here at Riverwood High School. Students are breaking school property and posting it to social media, and now the school's taking action against students. Yeah, who Teachers and faculty are now having to escort all of their students to the bathroom. This that pretty boy music you feel on the streets, mate. Because students are stealing from their own school and getting millions of likes for pulling it off on camera. Videos are going viral everywhere of like kids taking projectors, doors, just everything from their schools. Riverwood High School student Max Orston says it's all part of the latest TikTok challenge on social media called the Devious Lick Challenge. Someone tried to unbolt a urinal from uh, the bathroom. It appears nothing is too big or too small to take home a social media buzz. And you can even score some likes if you just spot the damage and film it. I personally saw some kid uh, walk out with a bathroom stall bar. But Riverwood parents say it won't just cost the school money to repair. It could cost you your academic future. This picture showing a broken bathroom sink was snapped by a student at Riverwood High School. Parents say it sent the student who took the picture straight home for five days on suspension. Parents say the school did not catch the thieves right away, but it did shut down the boys' bathroom. Probably don't do it. In this latest notice sent to students, the school also says they are now halting all unsupervised bathroom breaks and trips to the vending machines during passing period to avoid any more damage to school property. Uh, they're going to find out either way, so I wouldn't try. Now, I reached out to the Fulton County School District as well as the school to get a statement. They responded by saying, in part, this type of behavior will not be tolerated. Reporting in Fulton County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.